Hey guys, welcome to VTech Academy and here in this section we are going to discuss an example. So here the given example is if theta belongs to quadrant 3 and sin theta is equal to minus 4 by 5 then find the values of cosecant theta by 2 and the value for tan theta by 2. So now in order to find the values we already know that theta belongs to quadrant 3 that is nothing but 180 degrees is less than theta less than 270 degrees and now dividing all the sides by 2 here we get 180 degrees divided by 2 which is 90 degrees less than theta by 2 less than 270 degrees divided by 2 which is 135 degrees so hence we can say that theta by 2 lies between 90 degrees and 135 degrees that is nothing but theta by 2 belongs to quadrant 2 and then we are given the value of sin theta which is equal to minus 4 by 5 so according to the definition of sin theta let us find the value of cos theta so in order to find let us consider a right angle triangle here and then we already know the definition of sin theta which is opposite by hypotenuse so here the opposite sign which is 4 and this is the hypotenuse side which is 5 and now we have to find the value of the adjacent side let us assume p here so in order to find let us use pythagoras theorem which is hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus adjacent square so here we get 5 square which is equal to 4 square plus p square and now in order to find the value of p square so that implies we get here 5 square which is 25 which is equal to the value of 4 square which is 16 plus p square And now in order to find the value of t square let us transfer 16 to the left hand side so by transferring we get p square is equal to 25 minus 16 so that implies we get here p equal to square root of 25 minus 16 which is 9 here and we already know that square root of 9 is equal to 3 so here we get adjacent side p is equal to 3 and here we already know that theta belongs to quadrant 3 So the trigonometric ratio cos comma cosecant will be negative. And now let us find the value of cos theta according to its definition. As cos theta is negative, we get here minus of adjacent side which is three divided by the hypotenuse side five. So here we get minus three by five as the value of cos theta. And now let us find the value of cosecant theta by two. So cosecant theta by 2 can also be written as 1 by sin theta by 2 and here by using the formula of sin a by 2 which is equal to plus or minus under root 1 minus cos a by 2 so by using this formula of submultiple angle and just replacing a with theta here we get 1 by the formula of sin a by 2 that is nothing but the value of sin theta by 2 which is under root 1 minus so now let us name the equation cos theta is equal to minus 3 by 5 as equation 1 so here by using equation 1 let us replace cos theta with minus 3 by 5 divided by 2 and here by simplifying we get 1 by under root by taking 5 as the lcm we get 5 plus 3 in the numerator divided by 5 and the reciprocal of the denominator 2 which is 1 by 2 here so that implies we get here 1 by under root 8 divided by 5 into 1 by 2 and here by simplifying we get 2 one time is 2 and 2 four times is 8 so here we get 1 by root 4 by 5 which can be written as root 5 divided by root 4 so that implies we get here root 5 divided by the square root of 4 which is 2 here so here root 5 by 2 is the value of cosecant theta by 2 and now let us proceed and find the value of tan theta by 2 So in order to find the value let us use the formula of submultiple angle which is tan a by 2 is equal to plus or minus under root 1 minus cos a divided by 1 plus cos a So here by using this formula of submultiple angle and just replacing a with theta and by using equation 1 we can find the value of tan theta by 2 So theta by 2 belongs to quadrant 2 so that implies we can say that tan theta by 2 is negative as the trigonometric ratio tan in second quadrant is negative so now let us find the value of tan theta by 2 which will be equal to as tan theta by 2 is negative so here we get minus of under root 1 minus cos a that is cos theta which is minus 3 by 5 
divided by 1 plus cos theta that is minus 3 by 5 here. And now let us simplify this. So here by simplifying we get minus of under root here 5 will become the LCM. So we get 5 plus 3 divided by 5 whole divided by here we get 5 as the LCM. So we get 5 minus 3 divided by 5. And here 5 in the numerator as well as in the denominator gets cancelled and we get the result as minus of under root 5 plus 3 which is 8 divided by 2. And here by simplifying we get 2 1 time is 2 and 2 4 times is 8. So here we get minus of square root of 4. So that implies we get here minus of the value of square root of 4 which is 2. So minus 2 is the value of tan theta by 2. So at last we can conclude this by saying that the value of cosecant theta by 2 is equal to root 5 divided by 2 and the value of tan theta by 2 is equal to minus 2. And then make a note of the formula sin a by 2 is equal to plus or minus under root 1 minus cos a by 2 and the formula of tan a by 2 which is equal to plus or minus under root 1 minus cos a divided by 1 plus cos a. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.